Tonight, the seven investigators revealing new video of police visiting the home of the MSU shooting suspect. The body cam footage provides some clarity about what happened just days before the tragedy on campus. Seven investigator Heather Catala joining us now with a look at what you've uncovered, Heather. Well, in the week since the mass shooting at MSU, there's been a lot of talk about a welfare check at the shooter's home. Some have speculated that the visit by police just a week before the shooting may have been related to the gunman himself. But the body camera footage we've obtained shows it had nothing to do with him. Lansing police visited the home of the MSU shooting suspect about a week before Anthony McRae gunned down eight students on campus. And police say the call for help that night had nothing to do with the tragedy that would unfold the following week. On February 5th, a Lansing police officer jumps the locked fence at the McRae residence, eager to find out if Anthony's father, Michael, was okay. Police department. Lansing police officials say the welfare check was prompted by a call police from department. Michael's sister. Michael, yeah. are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, your sister called. Just want to make sure you're okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, I'll let her know. Okay, thank you. Have a good evening, sir. 911, what's the location of your emergency? A Lansing police spokeswoman told us Michael's sister requested the police check on her brother after being seen at a local hospital for a fall. She became concerned when she could not reach him. So is there someone with him right now? I don't know if his son Anthony is there because he works, so I don't know. He found him earlier this morning. Okay. She just want to make sure you're all right. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, sir. You. Your phone's off, so I'm not sure if it's charged or not. You charge it up. Okay. Uh, thank you. Yes, sir. Police officials maintain the welfare check is not related to the MSU shooting. LPD has not responded to any welfare checks for Anthony McRae. There was a welfare check at the address on Howell Street on February 5th, but was not related to the accused. An LPD has not been called in any way to any shots fired at this address. The seven investigators requested records for any and all police contact with Anthony McRae and his home address for the last five years. Do you have a concealed carry permit? Oh, I'm, I'm working on it. Now. The only information on file includes some traffic violations, a previous call about a larceny, and McRae's 2019 arrest for carrying a concealed weapon. I just get a pack of cigarettes, come here, smoke. Turn my head, bring my little gun with me. I know I ain't supposed to. Lansing police say no formal police report was made for that welfare check because there was no crime committed. I also spoke to Michael McRae today. He too confirmed the welfare check was not related to his son and he maintains he doesn't know why his son committed this horrific attack on the students. Brian. All right, Heather, thank you.